so continuing my series where I'm walking through um, my village that I was born and grew up in. We are in an area called Riverside. I've just come down on what's called Rivers Hill, Rivers Hill Road. And uh, I'm going to go down this lane here, which will lead me to Riverside. And uh, so this is the lane for which I am walking down. And then you come out here. And this is our river, not the world's biggest river. Um, if you go further down, it gets a bit wider and a bit deeper. But uh, mostly we were paddling rather than swimming. Uh, we still have our bikes in here as well. But uh, we'd go sort of looking for uh, eels and minnows and sticklebacks and all sorts of frogs, tadpoles, whatever. Um, it's a nice cottage. These four cottages are absolutely beautiful. Um, field at the back and then they've got this in the front. It's a very quiet road, you don't get much traffic so although here it's about 7.30 in the morning because I couldn't sleep and as you can see it's a beautiful blue sky, the sun was shining, very fresh day. Um, these guys are a very attractive little Venice-esque part of the village and uh, right in front of you there you can see the top of the hill of St Andrew's Church One th problem I had on this trip, which I'm, seems to continue to have, hence I'm voiceovering for the, about the fifth time, is sound issues. Uh, and you can hear that my camera's making all sorts of bloody noises. But anyway, when I was younger, I don't think this, this river had swans and ducks in it. Uh, I just don't recall that. Um, I do know that for a sort of period when I was a young adult, this river went from being like beautiful and clear like it is now to being quite disgusting. I don't know if there was some kind of accident further upstream, but whatever, the whole place seemed to die. But uh, it looks absolutely fabulous again. And you can see what a stunning day it is, absolutely beautiful weather out there. And the English countryside, when the weather is nice, nothing beats it in my opinion. And I've, I've travelled all over and uh, it's one of the finest places in the world when the sun shines. Not necessarily this village, this is that thing isn't it, you grow up and you never really respect the place you grew up in and uh, I certainly didn't think this was anything special but now I look back and I think of the freedom we'd have we'd be out on school holidays we'd basically be out of the house 8, 9 in the morning and we probably wouldn't get home until 6, 7 in the evening and there was no problems, no one cared and we just had fun I'm not saying no one cared, we were allowed to do what we wanted because no one was terrified that if we went out without their sight we'd all die and none of us ever did So this is uh, going down to Mammal Football Club, a little side road. I grew up playing for Bamwell Dragons from the age of, I think, 12. Bamwell Dragons under 12, so I'd have been 11. Uh, or no, under 13, so I think, so I'd have been 12 years old. And um, then later on, when I was a young adult, we would play Sunday Morning League here, which Sunday morning's a bit of a joke, um, because mainly you've all been out the night before, got rather happy, uh, maybe met a young lady, had a late night, and then we all turn up early in the morning, like, no matter what the weather, about to play a game of football, being very delicate of, of head and mind. So, then you walk back from there, out to the river again. And there is a the prime beef, that's a big ass bird. Beautiful countryside in the background, you can see that's the hill that I went up to up on the previous video. It's just a little wagtail popping up the bank there behind the duck, that's gone now. And uh, that is the village in front of us, or part of the village. We'll walk around there soon. And that's our sign for Riverside. It's a bit like, there's St Andrew's Church, it's a bit, a bit like a, one of those people that shows you the house. It says and this is the bathroom, and it's fairly obvious it's a bathroom. This however isn't so obvious, this used to be a village pond, but before I was born, so over 60 years ago, probably, a village pond. And, um, then, as far as long as I can remember, this has been the village bowling green where you play crown bowls. And if you don't know what crown bowls is, you can Google it or imagine curling but using balls instead of iron, instead of whatever the things are they use, the stones, and grass instead of ice. Pretty much the same thing, except for all the brushing is not necessary. You just use weighted balls of various colours and, and stuff. It's very cool, it's a genteel game for the older people.